hello friends today we are going to learn this amazing and interesting tricks and in my list the first tricks is actually go to special now i'm opening my file so this is my file where you can see this is a small database like employee code name department picture ta post basic and also da now here we want to do like this way you can see these are the empty cells or the empty row just like row number two row number five and also row number seven now in one shot we have to select those empty rows and we have to put their nil but it can be possible whereas you can put nil then again nil but it's actually a really difficult job for you if you are putting this word one by one according to the all the empty cells it's really a difficult job for you now what you will do first you have to select your whole range i'm just selecting the range by pressing control plus a if you'll press control a then you can select the all range now what i'm just selecting the range this is my range now i'm pressing alt if you'll press hello friends uh, look at very carefully if you will press the alt button on your keyboard then here you can see the home is activated with the key h the insert is activated in page layout is p and according to this now we have to enter the home so we will press next h now after pressing the h you can see that these are the short keys are already activated in the home button now the next we have to go through this find and select and the shortcut is f d okay fine now i'm going to press f then d one by one on the keyboard f d now have a look this is actually the list of the find and select now we have to get into this option go to spatial now the shortcut is actually s through s button we can insert into the go to spatial option so we are pressing s on the keyboard now this is actually the dialog box through which we actually are doing this work now here you can see these are the options commands it's actually formula blanks current region current array objects and all now my question was that we have to select all the blank cells or all the blank row in our database now have a look here this is actually the option is blanks and here is actually a small dash under k that means actually you have to press by keyboard alt k then you will go that the blank option so i'm pressing alt k now have a look this is a blank option now press enter amazing this is actually the empty cells which i have selected through the shortcuts now have a look actually all the cells of the pictures are also selected as because the picture is just like a object the picture is just like a object nothing to else and that is why also selected that range also no, no issue you can do this the separate way like from the column a to c and as well as e to h now suppose i'm putting the option is or the text nil and i want to do like this way after pressing enter or any button this nil text will be fill up all the blank cells or the rows now for this we have to press 
control enter now have a look all the empty cells are filled up by this text nil new so friends this is a process through which you can fill all the empty cells or we can select all the empty cells in our huge database right now this is actually the option is the selecting blank cells this is actually the tricks one now what the tricks two we are going to start now you can see this is actually the field of the department here already we applied the data validations now this is a list through which we can fill our department column and suppose you have applied different type of data validation on your range now you have to select it that range on that range you have to apply the data validations means you have to select in only that particular ranges or the range to, uh, on where actually you have applied the data validations so first again you have to select your range now again press alt button now h for home button and then f and d accordingly after you will get this option is go to spatial again now this option is actually going to uh, help you to do this work in easy way so go to spatial now have a look there is option is data validation now if you're using keyboard or the mouse actually the main uh, thing is that if you're using keyboard that will be a easier work for you so for data validation is v is activated with the underline so that means we have to press say we have to press exactly we have to press alt v now press alt v here you will get two options number one all number two same so we have to select all the validation ranges in our database now okay now see we applied only one data validations on the one type of data validation in our range that is the range is actually c2 is to c8 and go to spatial has activated that ranges okay that was a tricks too now suppose we have applied in our range the conditional formatting now you can see uh, that this is actually the conditional formatting which actually we are looking at but the simple thing suppose you are using the huge database and you are finding the conditional formatting and you have to highlight or the select the conditional formatting where you apply it now again you have to select the all range by pressing ctrl a now again you have to go the find and the select option and again go to spatial now here you will get the option is conditional formats and press ok now look this is actually the range where you applied the conditional formatting and one thing keep remember friends actually the go to spatial only highlight the conditional formatting where the result is actually come out now our next tricks is dependence formula dependence formula like this way now friend look here actually the uh, employee code name department picture ta post basic da basic is actually the field is actually a uh, numerical field uh, suppose this cell is empty this is actually 17000 this is the amount again empty cell again the amount again empty cells and again the amount and this is actually the da we have calculated da on the basic and the formula is actually the, on the basic salary we have calculated 2% da each and every employees for each and every employees we have calculated this TA as well as we have also calculated the TA and it's one person on the basic salary fine now 
we have to select the ranges in our database that is actually the depends on the formula just like ta is depends only the basic and also da is depends depending is on the ta it's very simple and very easy that we have to select for this first and the second step is we have to go through this find and select option then we have to enter the go to spatial now friend look here you will get the option is formulas now when you have to apply the formulas then you will get the numbers as because uh, we are selecting the numbers text and the logicals and the errors so we are not interested to highlight or the select the errors as well as the numbers text we can highlight because the new sales are there actually so then okay sorry uh, again we are going formulas then okay let's see actually one thing is there as because you can see this is actually the text as well as the number the text is as because there are no data as well as because your employees are empty so we have to highlight all the database again see we have to press control a then find and select go to spatial formulas and okay then this is the ta field and also this is a da so ta and da both are the depends on the basic so we can select that dependent cells and our last tricks for today is object object means the picture you can see this is the object this is the object this is also these all are objects but we have to select the object range now how to do this again press control a to select your whole database now you can see find and select go to spatial and then you have to select yes friend say gaze that which option is applicable for this exactly if you are using keyboard then you have to press alt b and if you are using mouse then select this option now okay see all the objects are selected by this go to spatial so friends i think you are enjoying this session with me so uh, this is actually gaze it's our last task for today now i'm applying suppose i'm applying the uh, commands you know what the commands commands is just like a message uh, we are just throwing to a, a third party or the uh, person who are actually maintaining this database now this is also the command and this command is put name only this is also the command put salary only now i want to select all the ranges of the commands are applied into my database how to do this first select your database again the option is find and select then go to spatial and now gaze frames which option can applicable for this yes the option is actually the commands which is a first option or if you are using the keyboard you can press control c now okay now twice number one the b1 cell where we applied the commands and 
again it's highlighted the g1 cell where also we applied the command friends thank you and subscribe my channel if you will get or you want to get the next tricks and i'm coming with the next tricks very soon thank you